Hello Cancer, I'm here to give you some insight and guidance for the month of June. So I already pulled a card for you here. And I'm using the Gaia Oracle deck. So we have Ganesha. Ganesha, clearing away obstacles, protection, guidance. So some of you uh, Cancers could be feeling very insecure. You know Cancer rules the fourth house. It's about security. It's about the home. It also talks about your internal home. So some of you could be feeling insecure with, um, within yourself or feeling insecure uh, in regards to your home life, your surroundings. Maybe even a relationship you're feeling a little bit insecure. Uh, but it's really important that you uh, get back in contact with yourself and understand that you're able to provide your own security. Your, your own security within you. Okay, a lot of people feel well, some people, not a lot, but some people feel secure when they're connected with their um, angels of love and light, when they're connected to God. So it's really important that you find that positive connection that's going to help you realign, that's going to help you feel secure, that's going to help you feel protected, that's going to help give you guidance, that's going to help you feel as though you're more optimistic. Okay. Tap into an energy of clearing obstacles because that's what um, Ganesha does. He clears obstacles. So I'm going to read from the book. So Ganesha, one of the most worshipped deities in the Hindu pantheon, has shown up in your reading today as an omen of good fortune. Whatever has thwarted your progress or preventing you from moving forward will soon be resolved. An obstacle is cleared and you are free to move on. Your plans are now able to come to fruition. Know that everything happens for a reason. The blockage you have faced were in fact a blessing in disguise, an act of divine intervention. Timing and circumstances were previously not favorable and your efforts would only have ended in disappointment and failure. The path is now clear and the timing is right. Your stars are in alignment. Affirmation. I am protected and guided by a higher power. When the path is blocked, I take this as a sign to wait. I give thanks for divine intervention. When the path is clear, I move forward with ease. All that occurs or does not occur is for my highest good. So it's about being present. Okay, being present. And also not being so impulsive, okay? There's, there's a, a saying, well, not really a saying. It's, it, it's all about divine timing, okay? It's all about divine timing. So some doors could have closed for you, but now another door is going to be opening up. Another opportunity is going to be presenting itself, okay? For some of you, you could have went through a difficult time. Like I said, maybe feeling um, a little bit insecure, not feeling safe, okay, because of a situation. But just understand that everything's going to be okay. These obstacles will be removed. So let's take a look and see what is surrounding you, Cancer. The month of June, what's surrounding you? What's surrounding? What's surrounding, Cancer? And thank you so much, Cancer. You guys had 573 views last month. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, what's surrounding Cancer? We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, and the Five of Wands. Here you are, Cancer, the Chariot. That's you. And Five of Wands and Five of Pentacles. Okay, so you guys are like, there's an energy of a merry-go-round, okay? You could be going through a cycle, a cycle that you've already been through before. Um, and also an energy of a merry-go-round, okay? I'm hearing also power struggle. You're having a power struggle with someone, okay? This someone could be, you know, a person that you're in a relationship with. This could also be, you know, colleagues, family. It could really be any anything or anybody, okay? This, like I said, it could be family too. But there's an energy of a power struggle. And there's an internal, um, there's internal conflict as well. And since there is internal conflict and you don't know which way to go, it leaves you feeling as though you're in the five of pentacles, okay, energy. Which is feeling left out in the cold, losing faith, you know, even feeling sick, okay? because of what's going on. 
This could be conflict with others or, or within yourself. Also, there could be an issue or concern surrounding a vehicle, a car as well for some of you. Okay, because this chariot, it talks about a vehicle. All right. Um, I, I, I'm hearing the song Distant Lovers. Um, actually, the song is Secret Lovers. That's what we are. But I heard distant lovers. So you, there could be some distance between you and a person, uh, a person that you're in a relationship with. Okay. And since there's distance, it leaves you feeling left out in the cold. But what's really important is that you use this time to expand your wisdom. Okay. Uh, you're, you're going through it. I mean, look at the, the different people here. Okay. One minute you're like the person holding the ball. The next minute you're like, you're like this person. Okay, the next minute you're like this person, okay? Like you don't know. Like you're going through it, okay? You're like this person, you're like that person one minute, and you're like this person. This person is like when you feel like you're in control. Some of you feel like you're in control, okay? And like I said, you could be going through a power struggle. Maybe cancer, you're trying to be more controlling over the other person or the situation or somebody's trying to be controlling over you, but you guys are really going through it, okay? What's really important that is that you continue to move forward, okay, with this chariot. Um, I'm, I'm hearing coming to an agreement, okay? There's a need to come to an agreement so you can be able to move forward and move past this conflict that you have within you or with others, okay? Because it's not really serving you, okay? It's not serving you or your situation. Um... I really feel like this is a connection, like a relationship or a close connection, okay, or within you. Uh, what else am I seeing here? Let me just take a look and see what this Five of Wands is. What is this Five of Wands? Um, also, this Five of Wands is anger, okay? There's some anger issues here that I see here, like, uh, like just being on edge. There's an energy of that, and you want to be left alone. You just don't want anybody to bother you. Okay, like I'm hearing like talking too much. Somebody's talking too much. Okay, five of wands. This could even be just mental chatter too. Five of wands. What is the five of wands? Okay. Five of wands is a page of wands here. Okay, page of wands. So this, there's a need for you, Cancer, to really take the high road because we have a total of six wands here. Six of wands is about victory. You're going to have victory once you overcome this five of wands energy. Once you let go of this conflicting energy, being on edge, being just... Um, I'm hearing hot headed like a hot tamale. <laughs> Once you're able to get over this vibration, then you're going to have a victory. So it's a call for you to really rise above the pettiness, uh, rise above the drama. If other people are pulling you into this drama and this BS, rise above it. You know, the six of wands also talks about leading uh, by example. Okay, leading by example, showing that you can do what's right, showing that you can do the right thing. Okay, I feel also once you're able to do that, you will get some type of recognition and you're definitely going to feel a sense of like renewal. Okay, once you're able to overcome this five of wands energy, some of you could be in competition with someone. Okay, and it's just a call for you to stop getting in this uh, comp competitive type of vibration. Just rise above and just do your own thing. Okay. Some people could, like I said, could be pulling you into this type of competition, all right? But rise above it. Rise above it and be you. There's an energy of you needing to be you, okay? But you can be yourself without trying to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone and be aggressive, okay? What is this Five of Pentacles energy? What is this Five of Pentacles? Okay, Nine of Swords. Somebody was very harsh with their words, Cancer. This could also be you. I'm hearing like Lone Wolf. Okay, so you're really feeling alone, feeling as though you're alone with your thoughts. I'm hearing planning an escape. Planning, like planning, um, planning an escape or planning, like planning for something. Like you're planning to get out of this Five of Pentacles energy. Okay, which is good. Okay. Um, but it's really important that you uh, don't be impulsive. This Five of Pentacles energy can have something to do with money. There could be some concerns about money, okay? And for some of you, you could be trying to expand your business or expand your um, finances in some way. But it's really important that you don't be too impulsive because Knight of Swords can be very impulsive, you know, and they're just like, let's get it done. But it's a time for you to sit back a little bit, okay, and think things through. 
okay? Think things through, okay? You, you, you definitely want to plan something, but just uh, think things through and try not to be too impulsive, okay? Um, all right, let's take a look at, let's see here. Um, but yeah, this is a, this is definitely a cycle, and this is an opportunity to learn. Okay, uh, Cancer, despite what you're going through, this is definitely an opportunity for you to learn. Okay, this is an opportunity for you to learn from your situation, learn from your obstacles, learn from just learn from the challenges and the adversities that you have gone through. You have to learn because I mean, Jupiter is here. Jupiter is here to expand, expand your mind. Okay. And expand your self-awareness because you could have all three of these people inside of you and you're just and you don't know how to act okay or you know someone who has like three different types of personalities they don't know how to act they don't know how to be okay they, they have a hard time being themselves and so since they have a hard time being themselves they're in conflict with others they're in isolation they're like you know uh, they, they ghost people or they um, um, maybe they isolate themselves, okay, because they don't know who they are or what they're wanting, okay. That's for some of you, okay. So, um, what is Cancer moving towards? Cancer, Cancer, what is Cancer moving towards? Okay. okay, what is Cancer moving towards? One, two, three, Lord. Cancer, you're moving towards the devil and the three of pentacles and four of swords, okay? Two can't, so two, so this is a devil, we have Saturn, and we have three of pentacles is Mars and Capricorn here, okay? So, hmm. So, you know, the devil, it does talk about, you know, being in bondage, having addictions, having fear, okay? Fear based thoughts. Cancer, some of you could have the devil on your shoulder, okay? This devil could be very tempting. This can be a woman or a man, somebody that looks good, smells good, they're just, they're just attracted to you. And this is what you want, but this person may not be the best fit for you, okay? They're not the best uh, option for you. So it's really a call for you to take a look at that. Three of Pentacles. Okay, three of pentacles for me is paying attention to detail. It also is putting in the work. It, it, and when I say put in the work, it's not work that can be done overnight. It's like, um, it's like tedious work. It's like, but, it, but it's not like fast pace. Okay, it, it's putting in the work. So I see for some of you, Cancer, um, and let me just say this the devil is Capricorn, so your opposite sign. Cancer is Capricorn. Okay, so you guys could be really operating from the devil energy. <laughs> you can be very dark. <laughs> you know, coming off is very dark right now. So uh, just really watch out for that. You know, it's it's easy to shake the devil off your back. All you have to do is expand your awareness and understand that this type of energy is is no longer serving you. Okay. Um, or this behavior, this way of thinking. Um, but I feel like for some of you, you guys are moving towards a sense of stability, okay, with the devil card here because the devil is Saturn. Saturn is, uh, talks about material uh, gains as well. So some of you are, are uh, really making shit happen for yourself and it's amazing. So good job to you. Um, you're going to be coming out of this Five of Pentacles energy I see for some of you guys here. Okay, and really, you guys are really going to be making things happen. It's, it, there's going to be an energy of having control over the material, okay, over your material world. Okay, so things could be very slow for you and restricted, and that's what Saturn does sometimes. He restricts things, okay. He, you know, he's is the, uh, he's the, the god of, the father of time, as they say, okay. Um, so you could have went through this very, this, this drought, okay, but you're going to be coming out of it, okay, you're definitely going to be coming out of it, but you have to, you have to put the effort in, you have to put the work in, and I feel like once you're able to do that, you're going to be in this Four of Swords energy, and this Four of Swords energy is just having this peace of mind. I also see as well that some of you Cancer could be dealing with someone, Capricorn energy, could be a Virgo, Taurus as well, and... 
I see this as uh, some type of silent treatment. Some of you could be dealing with someone or moving towards someone that's going to be giving um, you the silent treatment or this could be vice versa. You giving them the silent treatment. This also could be an air sign person that's giving you the silent treatment. Okay. They're being very devilish and just shady. Um, I'm hearing like they're like a weak link. Okay. That's for some of you cancer. I'm seeing that. Okay. Let me see. What, what is this devil? Okay, the world card. Wow. Okay, so the world card. This is your internal world. So there's a devil on the loose, uh, Cancer. There's a devil around you. Uh, there is a Capricorn person, or if it's not a Capricorn, it really can be any sign. Someone that's a little bit devilish. Someone that's a, a, a little bit uh, tricky. This is a fixed sign energy as well. This could also be a Taurus person that's uh, surrounding you. Okay, This person can be very tricky. So just watch out for that. The fact that the uh, owl is here is really a call for you to be aware. Okay, Be very aware. Anytime I see a bird, it's about looking at the bigger picture. And for an owl, owls are nocturnal. They can see their way through darkness. So Cancer, it's really important for you to see your way through the darkness. Whatever this darkness is that's surrounding around you. It could be a person. It could be your own thoughts. It could be your behaviors or addictions. It could be anything. You need to see your way through the darkness. You can be in the world, but you don't have to be of the world, okay? And for some of you, um, you know, trying to fit in with other people uh, uh, to please them, okay, is going to end up leaving you feeling like the five of pentacles, which is left out in the cold and unfulfilled, okay? So just be yourself, okay? You don't have to um, be someone that you're not, but really just stay focused, okay, on your goals. Don't give up. Uh, try your best not to be too rough around the edges, but most importantly, um, see your way through the darkness, okay, because your world, like, there's, like, there's something very dark surrounding your world, and there's a need for you to really illuminate this, okay. Shine light on this, because you see the chariot card, and you see the world card here, okay, Two full moons. So it's time to bring awareness. It's also time to celebrate. Celebrate how far you have come. Celebrate how far you're going to go. Find, jo find joy in your life. Don't be around people who bring you down and that want to, that don't want to see you grow. Okay, because you're too caught up in the passion and the hanky-panky stuff. You've, you miss uh, what's really important. Okay, don't let people uh, lead you astray. Don't lead other people astray. Okay. So, um, one more card to close out the reading for Cancer. One more card. Okay, Page of Cups. This is a new beginning. So, uh, forgive yourselves. Forgive yourselves, Cancer. Okay? See the innocence in yourself. Okay? See the innocence in yourself. Also, there could be a concern surrounding a child. Do what's best for that child, okay? But if you don't have a child, you're not dealing with a child, it's important for you to forgive yourself and forgive others. But see the innocence. See that innocence can dwell within you, okay? Despite what you've gone through, you could have done something and you regret it and you beat yourself up every day about it. Forgive yourself, okay? And see the innocence within you and understand that no one's perfect, okay? But but identify your talents, identify your gifts, okay? All right, so that's the end of this reading, Cancer. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, share, and subscribe if you would like a reading with me. Feel free to send me an email. It's in the description box below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month, and God bless.